Greetings Internet, my name is Chris and um, today I'm doing a tutorial in Kerbal Space Program. Alright, uh, the tutorial is for a very easy to control um, drone plane sort of thing. So uh, it's gonna be also very easy to build, but um, I thought I would do some tutorials in this game, so... Oh, that's the wrong one. So this one is uh, easy to start off with. <coughs> right. Now I do not have very loud um, in-game music in this, uh, mainly because I don't really like the sounds in this game. Uh, I hope they will, in the future, maybe make those sounds a little bit better or something. Um, but yeah. None of that right now. Okay, so let's see. You get this one here. Um, this is a satellite core, but uh, we'll use it for the plane anyway. Then you go into control, you get your advanced stabilizer, like so. And you go into propulsion, and you get this one here. We won't put it on yet, but just get it out. And we also get the turbojet engine out, like so. And then we go into aerodynamic and we get this one here radial engine body so, oops, attach that then we put this one on here and then the engine in the back okay so we already have our huh, plane um, body but we will need more things of course so get this here it's called a canard press X to get it to be on both sides, so you can see if I turn it here. Let's put it like so. Okay, this one here will help us um, maneuver the plane more easily. Then you get a delta wing. Uh, firstly, just put it on so it's completely straight. Then we put our standard control surface. To turn it around, press D or A. And get it here. Yes, that's nice. But we're not going to have our wings here, we're actually going to move them up, like here, and then we hold, um, actually we can press E to get them down and Q to get them up, but if we hold shift while pressing E, it will move down slower and we want it to be at an angle, let's see, that's probably a little bit too much, let's get it to be one up, so just hold shift and press Q once. Yeah, that's nice. We want it to be a little bit angled. Okay, um, then we take our tail fin, press X to get it to be only one, put it in the back, like so. Then you get this one here, small control surface, press A to move it to the correct position. If you press D or, no, not A, I mean, if you, if you press A or D, you will turn around. So to get it to this position, you want to press V or S. You can see to turn it like so, and Q and E turn it sideways, turns it, alright. So put that there, that's good. Now we need, uh, let's see, we need some, we need some landing gear here. Take one, one of these, it's a small gear bay thing, put it here so it's centered. And you want it all the way in the front, like so. Take that again, then press X to get it to be twice, or to be to be duplicated on the other side. To turn it, you hold shift and press Q until it's straight. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it's actually a little bit too far down to so move it up. You want you want to uh, you want to have the front wheel to be okay. Just I mean fiddle around with it a little bit until it it's a little bit bad. So you want this wheel here to be to be um, much uh, much higher or further whatever further from the plane or whatever so it, it it stays at an angle when you put it in. Now our plane is not completely done but we only need to add one more thing which is this here. We also want to have it doubled. You just put to there. 
uh, in my design that I created, um, from which I'm taking this idea here, I actually had four. Not really sure if it makes too much of a difference, but um, yeah. Okay, that's very easy. And then we just call it a. Uh, you can call it uh, Chris's <laughs> drone plane Mark One. Right. Save it. And um, we actually need to do one more thing. Comes to think about. Okay, so what I pressed here was uh, this one here, the middle one called Action Groups. Then you go to Custom One, and uh, you click on your engine, and then click on Toggle Engine. This means that when you press one on your keyboard, you will toggle your engine on and off. This is very useful. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and also for Custom Two. Click on your on your wheels here, and then raise and lower gear. Click on the back, raise and lower gear. Custom three. Take the same here, but then click on brakes and do it like so as well. I know that the game has already built in a, a keybind for your brakes, but uh, they are not toggled, so you have to hold them, which is very annoying. So, so you see. Our custom one, when we press one on our keyboard, we will toggle our jet engine on and off. Two, raise and lower our gear. And um, three is for the brakes. And they are toggled on and off. Right? And uh, you can see, if we're pressing Q crew, you can see there's um, no capacity for anybody, which is nice because then you won't kill all your kerbals like I do usually. Okay, let's just see. There might be a problem with uh, clipping, so uh, we just want to check if that is too much. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right. See, it's a little bit dark. Okay, so everybody, everything looks fine. Press T to enable SAS, which will stabilize your flight. Hold Shift to throttle up. Just move it all the way to the top. Press Space to start up your engine. You can click resources in the top right corner. You can see intake air. We want this to be very high for our jet engine to work. Okay, okay we're already flying. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so press 2 to uh, raise your gear. Like so. Great. And that's a flying plane. Let's see if I can actually land it again. It's usually a little bit more complicated. So you can see our intake air is fine. Um, I could try experimenting with uh, removing these and seeing if that would be better or worse. This thing in the front here, um, I'm not really sure if it actually does anything. It might trip you to the intake air, it might not. Uh, but yeah. So this is a very simple plane. You won't kill your kerbals when you crash it into the ground. And it's uh, really, uh, really great for just uh, experimenting. Oh crap. For experimenting and um, testing out new new, uh, new planes. So, yeah, okay. Or just um, making it easier for you to learn how to control a plane. So you use the W, 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 not W, that's what it's called. Danish, but yeah, you do use your W to uh, W A S D to control it, and also your E and Q to uh, do the roll thing. Right, um, we're coming close to the ground again. Press two to open up your landing gear. Hold control. You can see I'm already half down here. Hold control to, or just click it to um, throttle down here. We we don't want to. Um, hit the ground straight on so you can see I'm moving at a very slight angle here uh, I am dropping as you can see up here I'm dropping very slowly and you don't want to press T and remove your SAS because then it would be very disastrous okay so move it down we're almost at no throttle here okay and just throttle all the way down when you reach the ground like so and crap Okay, let's press three to break. Okay. Um, 
the reason why I actually why I actually crash is because I reached this area here where there are hills and shit. So <laughs> anyway, that's not what the video was about. It was not about teaching you how to fly. It was about teaching you how to create a very cool and very simple plane. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will be making more tutorials in the future. I think the next one I'll do is probably going to be a satellite. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and or a comment. And uh, if you want to be notified about future uploads from me, or simply just support my channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.